In 2011, you did a lot of work. Nearly two-thirds of workers in North America are putting in more hours now than they did three years ago. Many of you spent that time in front of a computer, and a lot happened while you did it. For example, in 2011, the Facebook juggernaut rolled on, growing from 500 million to 800 million active users. While 54% of employers say they don't allow access to social media at work, the bandwidth on corporate networks used for webmail and social networking has actually increased five times since 2010. Worldwide, Facebook accounts for 80% of the social media traffic. But it's a different story in Japan, where unlike every other surveyed country, Twitter is king, accounting for 85% of social media traffic. While you were working in 2011, social media became a force for change around the world and a lot of news broke on Twitter. A lot of people just wanted to stay anonymous this year, and software designed to enable online anonymity rose in prominence. For example, Tor is now present on 13% of corporate networks. While you were working in 2011, how you manage files continued to change. Browser-based file sharing services are now used on 92% of corporate networks. While you were working in 2011, you also listened to a lot of music. Spotify debuted in the US, bolstering the growing streaming music market. And now, streaming audio is used on 99% of corporate networks in the US. And in 2011, you also helped create, manage, or share 80% of the 1.8 zettabytes of data that was generated this year. And that's a lot of work.